I'm Nicole Fraser. My business is Kinky Galinky and we have been sourcing products from China for the last uh, 11 years and we design, manufacture uh, women's clothing and we also retail it here in Melbourne. Before we started the Kinky Galinky business I had just a little retro clothing store and I'd heard word that there were interesting kind of garments to be bought in Hong Kong, China, Korea um, at good prices. So there was an economic imperative really for me to go overseas and, and have a look at what was available. I was drawn to the kind of fashion that was being manufactured in Asia. I often find that a lot of the fashion that comes out of Europe is very much about being body conscious, it's very kind of sexy, it's very overt and you know there's nothing wrong with that but you know it's not my thing. Where I feel particularly in Japan the clothing there is much more about experimentation it's much more about sort of ideas that are taken up, that are put out there, that are imaginative and interesting. And, you know, that's probably a lot more where I'm at in terms of my interest in fashion, yeah. In the last five years, the nature of our business has really changed because we've started producing our own garments. Um, and before I was able to do that successfully, I developed good relationships, good working relationships with you know my agent and his staff and we slowly developed a way of working together and we slowly built up a lot of trust and that's actually how that got started. What I liked about them was that you know in the middle of the day when, when um, it was lunchtime and we decided to go off to a restaurant um, you know, we sat down and we were at this enormous table and all of Jackie's staff filed in and there were probably about 18 of us sitting at this table um, at the end of it. But I liked the idea that, you know, all his staff were invited and that is what happens every time we go there. We have a big dinner and, you know, everybody's there together and I thought, yeah, good, you know, this is, for me, this is a wholesome way to do business in China where everybody's at the table. I've got a degree in fine art sculpture and I did the Nice course for artists, like which is just a little kind of business course. But apart from that, no, I had no particular sort of educational training in, in how to go about doing business in China. I think the most important thing really is to, is to focus on what you have in common with the people over there and to, you know, go over there with some goodwill and I think you, you know, in developing those relationships, really, it is about developing a trust and it is about developing sort of understandings. For anybody who is interested in a career in fashion, I would say that your first stop should be the Guangzhou fabric market, just to have a look at what is available. I really believe in small business and I really believe in diversity. And I think in order to actually keep encouraging diversity, one great step for, for those interested in fashion is actually to go overseas and to have a look, particularly in China, to have a look at what's available.